Millions of your taxpayer dollars at stake. By summer, the Army Corps of Engineers has to decide the fate of the Savannah Bluff Lock and Dam, but by law, they can't fix it. Stephanie Borman is live at the river. Stephanie, uh, the proposed solution to this ongoing debate hasn't actually worked, am I right? John, experts say that the proposed solution is ineffective, which some people argue is a misuse of taxpayer money and stunting growth here at the riverfront. The Savannah Bluff Lock and Dam has seen better days. It was deauthorized by the federal government after it was deemed unfit for its original purpose, commercial navigation. The structure is hazardous to the public and a barrier that prevents endangered fish from reaching historic spawning ground. North Augusta Mayor Bob Pettit says the big debate is what do you do with a navigation structure that can't be fixed by the Corps of Engineers under federal law? So what would be your solution? Well, my solution is repair the, the dam, lock and dam. Ideas are trickling downstream to build a rock weir. By going with the rock dam design, the Corps of Engineers is checking off two requirements. First, they wouldn't have to touch the lock and dam that by law can't be repaired. And the rock weir creates a passage for the endangered sturgeon fish to spawn. If built, the rock weir in the CSRA would be modeled after one in North Carolina. However, in a letter written to a local newspaper, Vice President of Zell Engineers Jorge Jimenez says there's no evidence to support that the rock weir in North Carolina actually works. A DNR biologist agrees. It's been effective for passing chat and herring, uh, but to my knowledge, it has not passed any sturgeon. You know, we're optimistic that the design will work because um, if you're going to spend the money, you obviously want it to work. Still, according to the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration, scientists have observed at least one sturgeon successfully leaping over the rock dam at Cape Fear. Whether it passed up the ramp or through a lockage is unknown. Many people that we spoke to argue that throwing millions of taxpayer dollars at something that's unsuccessful doesn't make sense. Pettit says it's in North Augusta's best interest to push for the restoration of the lock and dam with a passage for the endangered sturgeon fish. More fish have traveled through the lock, you know, the water being raised and lower they swim in, they get lifted up and they swim out. So the mayor wants to see the lock and dam be repaired. The Savannah Riverkeeper is also on board to save the locks. And, well, whatever it is that the Corps of Engineers decides to do, they're going to make sure that it's both cost effective and a good use of taxpayer money. Reporting live, Stephanie Borman, WJBF News Channel 6.